Hey, currently I'm running Windows 11 with this beautiful Windows 7 skin. Here I have Windows 7 taskbar, start menu, buttons and cursor. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the same. So to change the look of Windows 11 to Windows 7. Get subscribed, leave a like down below and let's get started. First, let's get rid of this Windows 11 cursor. Open up your web browser and search for Windows 7 cursor for XP. And you might be asking yourself, why are we searching for the XP? Because this cursor is cross compatible with Windows versions. So 7, 8, 10 or 11. And here, make sure that you select the first link on deviantart.com. And here on this platform, you will need to have an account to be able to download files from this platform. So here at the bottom, make sure that you select this green arrow and click on it. And now we can go to the downloads folder. So here, right click on the file and then click extract all. And then once again, extract. In this extracted folder, go to the folder and at the top, you should see install file. This is very important that you right click on this file and then click install like so and then open the installation file. Now here you will be prompted with the admin prompt, select yes here and the installation of the cursor should begin. Now after that, nothing should change. You can go here to start menu of the Windows 11 and search for the mouse. And then at the bottom, you should see this option, change the mouse pointer display or speed, click on it and then go to the pointers here. Under the scheme, you can select here Windows 7 cursors and then apply. And then you will be prompted if you want to change. So you can click here, yes. And now you can see that we have this Windows 7 cursor pack. If you want to delete the cursor, it's quite simple. You could just press here, delete on the selected cursor. Here I'll press OK. And now let's switch the attention to the Windows taskbar, start menu and the Windows buttons. Now go to your web browser and here make sure that you search for Windows blinds by Stardock. Click on the first result that you see and then click here, get the beta version now. Now here you can see that this program is paid. However, you can try it for free for 30 days. Here I will select try free for 30 days. And now I will install Windows blinds and activate it with my email. And then I'll get back to you when this is complete. And now in Windows Blinds 11 program, we still need to apply a correct theme. So Windows 7 theme. Down below we have a few of the themes, but after trying some of them, I think that most of them broke something. So to fix that, we will need to go to the second step to download more styles. And here I will click to go to the website. Now on this website here at the top right, we have this search field. Here under the all, I will select here Windows blinds. And here I will search for Windows 7. Click on the search icon. And now you should see this 7, 4, 10 theme. I will click on it. And down below, you should see this green download button. Now you can click on this one as well. And as you can see, the download should start. And now you can also get this .fba file. Click on it and this should install a brand new skin. Now we can go back to the styles here and select this 7.4.10 theme. And here you can pick whichever you like. Personally, I will go 7.4.10 version two. And now I will click apply style to the desktop. Now here you can still see that we do not have Windows 7 taskbar. So to fix that, you can go to the taskbar settings and scroll down and here under the taskbar behaviors, make sure that you select the taskbar alignment to the left. Now we can also see Windows 7 Orb at the left, but start menu still isn't there. So to fix that, we still need to install another program. So we need to search for start 11 from Stardock as well. So the same company which makes Windows blinds. Now you can go to their website here 
and you can click here green button get it now you can click on this and you can still see that this program is also paid so you can fix this issue by clicking try free for 30 days and the exa file should start downloading and i will install it and i will get back to you guys when the installation is complete so now in Stardock Start 11 program, it will ask you if you want to have taskbar left aligned or centered aligned. I will select here left aligned and click OK. And here we can pretty much select whichever start menu style you prefer. Here I will go with Windows 7 style, but we can customize this even further. So with this drop down menu, you can select whatever you like. But personally, I will go with just Windows 7 style option. Here at the left, we have an option start button. So you can pick whichever custom start button you like. But as of now, this Windows 7 theme comes with Windows 7 Orb by default. So I don't see a point of doing so. Down below, we also have the taskbar options. So let's start 11 and enhance the taskbar. I will enable that. And now I will press OK here. And now you can also see that we have a little bit more modern Windows 7 taskbar. And here you can also change the style of the buttons. So for example, here I have an option currently turned on for never, but you can also select here always. So it will look like that. And if I go back to the never, it will look like that. So down below, you can change the taskbar blur and transparency options as well. You can even add seconds in the taskbar as well. And here at the left, we also have the search. So you can change a few search options if you want to, control and about. And of course, no customization is complete without a proper wallpaper. So here I will go to the web and search for the Windows 7 wallpaper. Here I will click Windows 7 wallpaper, save image as, save, and I will go back to the downloads folder, right click on the image and set as desktop background. So right now, let me show you how to uninstall every single thing that we just installed. So first thing that you need to do is to go to the system tray and here right click on the Windows blinds system tray icon and make sure that you select unload Windows blinds. Here I will go to the control panel. Now I will go to uninstall a program and here I will select star dog start 11, uninstall and then press yes. Click next here, remove the settings, next. And right now the star dog start 11 should be uninstalled. Click finish here and here you will be asked to reboot system. But here I will press no. And now I will go back to control panel and here I will uninstall Stardock Windows Blinds as well. So uninstall, click yes here, click next, remove settings, click next, click finish here. And now you can just reboot your system and you should be good to go. So as you can see, everything was successfully uninstalled. And with that said, this has been Tech Enthusiast video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know if you tried this skin out in the comment section. And also don't forget to support the developer by doing so. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to click on the like button and you can always subscribe as well. If you didn't know, you can also support me on coffee.com, link in video description. And with that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.